matchup between Conor McGregor and Jose Aldo. Well, there's only one king of Rio de Janeiro, and you are looking at him, Jose Aldo, making the walk here for yet another big, high-profile UFC fight. One, if not the greatest featherweight of all time, is Jose Aldo. Not often do I get starstruck, but to watch Aldo make the walk in Rio is truly a one-of-a-lifetime experience. I'm glad I got to do it. He is a star of the highest order. Aldo's title run was something to behold. It was so special. Oh, yeah. Every time you watched him, you knew that the fight could end at any moment, and you knew that you were watching one of the most skilled fighters across the board. And the reason, the primary reason most believe he is the best featherweight of all time, seven successful defenses, to your point, in that first reign as the UFC featherweight king. Well, the celebrities are out. The floor seats are packed because the notorious one, Conor McGregor, makes his triumphant return here tonight. There's always a special feel when a UFC main event is about to unfold, but Conor McGregor just takes it to that requisite next level. J.A., as a fan, I usually sit right next to the octagon, but when Conor fights, I got to be in the first row behind <laughs> the barrier because the celebrities are out in droves. Conor McGregor has this thing about him that makes everybody want to show up. They flock to Vegas. They come in groups. They want to experience the notorious Conor McGregor. They want to see if he can have one of those special moments, him atop the cage, him knocking right. out Jose Aldo. If you experience the McGregor experience, you always have a story to tell, and that's why people show up. He's going to cash the check tonight, right? But he's not here for just money, no, right? This not. is about proving himself trying to improve his mixed martial arts legacy. One, two titles, no title defenses. That's a big part of the motivation He for takes Conor. a lot of pride in the preparation to getting to the octagon, and you see it every time Conor McGregor fights. All right, now let's get you the tail of the tape for this featherweight tilt. McGregor is 26. Aldo is 33. McGregor will have a four-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 29 wins, seven losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting the former UFC featherweight champion of the world, Jose Aldo Jr. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, two losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor. Okay, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. The fighters touch him up. You ready? You ready? 
right, here we go. Mixed martial arts royalty on both sides. Former UFC featherweight champion Jose Aldo, former two division champion Conor McGregor. First meeting lasted all of 13 seconds. Jose Aldo has worked himself back up. How do you think he approaches the ring? Of course he did. He is a king. The king of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, will take a different approach. He will make sure that he is guarded, make Conor McGregor fight him over a long fight, which is where he has excelled over the course of his career. All right, here we go, early round one. We talk about wrestling being a great equalizer in MMA, but length and reach is another one. He's got a great jab. We'll see if he can employ it tonight. You have got to be born with it, right? You don't get taller. When you're a tall guy, you have to understand, make your skill set match your physical abilities. And this guy has done this tremendously. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Beautiful land there by McGregor. Made it look easy on that. Extreme. He is such a diverse striker, but he's very tricky in the approach when he's trying to land that left hand. Oh, that right hand is on point. Big ball punch lands. Now we get back to range. Stuff to take down, no problem. Control that clinch. I want you to get control of that clinch. Nice kick. McGregor gets caught by that straight hand. Powerful leg kick lands. Three minutes remain in the round. Beautiful counter punch, really settling in when it comes to his counter attack here tonight. And again, making good use of what is a huge advantage in reach. Let's go, you can do this. Head kick lands. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Try to establish that jab. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, straight to the body by McGregor. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Aldo going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Get him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, tags him again with a flush left hand. Came with inches right there, oh, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Pretty good jab there by Aldo. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Wow! He needs to start looking to finish now. Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. Oh, he is up, but man, is he hurt. Finish could come here at any time. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter of eggs. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Conor McGregor. Looking to land the leg kick now. Five seconds to go here in round one. Punch coming, it's blocked. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Landed a big kick there. Seconds to go. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Lanza, glancing right hand upstairs. 
Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage him. Round two, Conor McGregor versus Jose Alba. Nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Let those hands go. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Ooh. Punch over the top. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, that's a big connection there for McGregor, DC. I mean, big strike landed for Ireland's favorite son, Conor McGregor. 32 total strikes have now landed for Conor McGregor. Well, the accuracy rate not great, below 40% now. Oh! Oh, he dove and he lands! Wow! Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Inside leg kick lands and immediately a mark on his opponent. His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from his clinch position. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to... Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, big left hand there. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Lower John now started to show signs of swelling. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Big kick lands. Head and kick. both guys really throwing with authority. <laughs> Under a minute, and now to go in round two. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Aldo gets stung by that leg kick. 
How about that shin? Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh! Oh! Holy smoke! You put it to sleep! Back to the feet! Fifteen seconds remain in the round. Ten seconds remain in round two. That strike blocked by Alda. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, there's the horn, and what a round, champ. We got to talk about the knockdown. When you knock somebody down like that, it's got, got to be kind of fun to stretch your way back to the street. I mean, you are 10 foot tall. When you can <laughs> drop another person with a strike, you are 10 foot tall. Now, the issue is he did not find the finish, and he used a lot of energy trying to finish that fight. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loot punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that. All the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Good stick. Sixty-nine total strikes have found the mark for Conor McGregor, and landing with forty-one percent accuracy tonight against Jose Alba. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. McGregor's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Nice loop and punch. Aldo's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Tags him with the left hand. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Tags him with the uppercut. Big leg kick land. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. And they separate. Can't take many of those. You better check. That kick blocked by Aldo. And he landed the right hand there. Just over two minutes to go. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. Continues to work out of that tight clinch. Beautiful kick. Tags him with the left. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, that one appeared to stun him. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now.
That one is going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> oh, he lands another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Good punch, man. He blocks the punch. Big kick lands. 45 seconds remain in the round. <laughs> 30 seconds to go. <laughs> 20 seconds left. 15 seconds. His misses are at the Look at that leg. Right at the elbow. Right. The body leg. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights, DC. A lot of leg kicks for good measure in that round. I mean, leg kicks are the key. You watch people win fights with just leg kicks, especially in this game. I mean, it is my strike of choice. I love the animation when I've landed so many leg kicks that my opponent just kind of waves me off and the fight gets stopped. Keep throwing them. If they're not going to check them, keep throwing the leg kick. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Just a slip there. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, straight right. Whoa! Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to fold him. him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, head kick attempt. It is blocked by Connor. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Oh, nice knee to the body. Very nice. He understands that doing the body work will pay dividends the longer the fight goes. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Look at the turnover in that kick. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Going to the body now with the kick. That one is blocked, though, by Alvin. Nice. Three minutes to go in the round. Got the single collar tie. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Big knee to the body! Nice punch, man. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurting. Checks that leg. Kid. Oh, he gets up. The question is for how long? I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. You got to check these low leg kicks. Aldo gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Oh, 
little inefficient with that counter attempt there, the kick out of range. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Oh, and he connects with a the punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch, I just put a smile on my face. Oh, and that is it. Referee has seen enough, and maybe so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. So a big win for him here tonight and an even bigger statement made by virtue of the TKO. All right, let's get it inside. Ladies and Bruce and Buffer, he has the official decision. This contest at three minutes, 42 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO, the notorious Conor McGregor! Well, what a win for that young man tonight by TKO. And if the judges were looking at their phones, it's okay. We don't need the scorecards. Tonight. We don't need your scorecards. Do as you may. Proceed as you may. Because <laughs> this guy knew that he had to finish this fight. That's exactly what he did. He got his opponent hurt, found the follow-up shot, and got the finish.